Welcome to Panangis.com. Today we are here with Panangis' very good friend Mary. Welcome Mary. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm fine. Excellent. Yeah. We've actually travelled back in time to a very famous musical moment, thought we'd have a nice chat and Mary's been living on Koh Phangan for seven years now. How are you enjoying it? Most of the time I love it. Yeah. yeah. The heat gets to me a bit, but you know, get in the sea a lot. Excellent. Yeah. It's good to have the sea around, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Living right by the sea. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And uh, the question that everybody wants to know, Mary, is how old are you? I knew you were going to say yeah. that. <laughs> 72. 72. Yeah. And you must have seen some amazing things in your 72 years. Um, let me put you on the spot and ask, what was um, a life-changing moment for you? you that think? was in about 1974. I was living in a van mm -hmm. and just traveling around the UK and then um, I went to Stonehenge and I saw all these vans and saw all these people and we moved from there to another site mm -hmm. and there was children playing in the river there was dogs running around there was fires everywhere there was people shouting things like Bombay! <laughs> <laughs> was this for summer solstice? I love Stonehenge for summer solstice. Yeah, well, it was one of the, one of the solstices, yeah, you know. Yeah, I um, can imagine it was amazing back in the was, 70s. It was, it was incredible, but now most of the festivals, well, there's some good festivals in the UK that don't charge a lot of money, mm -hmm. but places like Glastonbury, Green Gathering, yeah. they're completely extortionate. Of there's course. no point in going there, it's the same old yeah. stuff every year, you know, and yeah. they don't pay the bands well, and so. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Koh Phangan has that kind of like hippie vibe from back in the day a little bit? And do you think that's yeah, why maybe you like you it? You know, when I see older people like myself, yeah, I quite often remember the face. Yeah. And sometimes I'm walking along the street and some person comes up to me and says, Is it you? <laughs> I say, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I think so anyway, you know. <laughs> and then we have this chat and then we, we end up knowing other people. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know such and such? Do you know such and such? And there's still a big network of the older hippies. Yeah. They don't put their heads above the parapet too much these sure, days. Oh, yeah. But it's still going, and they've had children, and those children have had children, and all these new age travellers, they can't stop it now. You yeah. Know? So there's actually some rule now in, in the UK about if your vehicle is legal yeah. and you're parked up somewhere, yeah. if you put a notice on your van, mm -hmm drive arresting it's illegal for them to move you because yeah. you could be causing an accident mm -hmm. by not having enough sleep um, loads of people Ill. do get moved though don't they i mean this is a it's thing getting it's better in we're lucky on Koh Phangan because it's an affordable place to live but elsewhere yeah. in the world people can't yeah. afford to live so they choose to live in a That's van it. and yeah. i've been there it's yeah. a it's a lifestyle and yeah. i think once you've done it you it sticks yeah. with you, doesn't it? Well, you don't want to leave it. Yeah. But, you know, it's really difficult to do it in UK and Ireland mm. now. When you go to Spain and France, Portugal, Portugal's good, you know. Yeah. But as far as the UK and Ireland, forget about it really, you know, mm -hmm. because you'll just get harassed all the time. Yeah. Do you feel like you can have this kind of more free lifestyle on Koh Phangan then? Do you think that's why you... Yeah. Enjoy to be here. Yeah, because I'd have to live in a house. I'd have to go and live yeah. in some poxy council house somewhere, yeah. you know, which I couldn't afford yeah. and don't want. And I'd be in this box. Mm -hmm. And from day one, I'd, depression would kick in. See, I don't get depressed. Mm -hmm. Not these days. Not unless I see an animal in a very bad way and all that. Yeah. But I usually get, I roll over it, you know. Yeah. But there's no point in the likes of me living in the UK mm -hmm. or Ireland because it's horrible climates. You know, yeah. it never <laughs> stops raining, sun. you know, and you're not allowed to do anything. Yeah, you know? for sure. every, every car park you go to, it's no overnight parking mm -hmm. or else we've got, you know, rails, overhead rails. So you can't, if you've got anything more than like a minivan or something, they, you can't get into the place. Yeah. So you're happy you're here then? That's oh uh, yeah, I like this climate. <laughs> yeah, you know? I like good. this climate. I love the beautiful Thai food and yeah. I love most of the Thai music. Yeah. I've got, I know a lot of musicians here mm -hmm. and... And that's what most people know Mary for, is her music. Well, so yeah. did you start this at a, a young age? Is it something you've always done? 
Well, I used to sing a lot when I was a child, but mother used to shout at me. Right. Oh no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'd be in the bath and they had this really old fashioned thing, what they put two nozzles on the tap, the bath taps and it came down like that, like oh, a stethoscope. Yeah. And then you could sing, I could sing into one end of it and put the other end in my ear. Oh wow. <laughs> and I was used to be singing opera like, laugh like a baby who's grown up wild and all that sort of stuff. My mother used to shout up the stairs. Will you stop that god awful noise? She didn't encourage me at all because you know being a musician is mm -hmm. Is not a solid way unless you're a really big star. You, yeah, yeah. It's hard to keep the money situation mm -hmm. together, you know. Yeah. But he perseveres. And so, and well, I just I was about 23 when I took up with this guy, and he was a guitarist. And he brought his guitar, and I said, "You got a guitar? Yeah. You teach me." Mm -hmm. And he taught me three chords, and then he wouldn't teach me anymore. He said get a book, go to the music shop, get a book, same as I had to. Yeah. <laughs> because I do guitar lessons, but I have to be starving before I'll do guitar lessons, because I hate it. Sure. It's like, this is a G, this is a C, this is that, and this is this. And then, most of them, they, they don't, see, they, they tell me, I want to play guitar, but I don't want to practice. Mm -hmm. What do you say then, what <laughs> actually say, apart from, go away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're completely self-taught? Yeah. 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 And what would you say your inspirations are? Some artists? Janis Joplin, mm -hmm. Joni Mitchell, um, a lot of the country and western singers, mm -hmm. like Bonnie Raitt. Yeah. Um, loads of influences, you know. Uh, yeah. Amy at Winehouse, a big influence. Yeah, amazing. Um, Adele. Yeah. Loads and loads, just on. From all different all times. All different things, yeah. yeah folk music, really good, you know, yeah. and a lot of Irish songs. Yeah. And. I just try to look at the audience and see what yeah. would they like. Because when I came down to Charles Place the other yeah. day, I was thinking, right now, what does this lot <laughs> what do they want? want? You know, because I've got 400 <laughs> songs and there's wow. lists. But you know, most of them I don't really want to be playing anymore. But also, I want to be playing what they want. Yeah. And yeah. they always say Eagles. They always say American Pie. Mm. So I think, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite song to play, or what? There's a Billy, Ray, a Billy Ray Cyrus song. Uh -huh. um, on YouTube, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Vietnam veterans and, yeah. and other war veterans, mm -hmm. the Iraq War and all that, and they have come out with some amazing songs. You know, mm -hmm. about basically they were they were just not told about September the 11th, the true yeah. story of it. And anyone yeah. with any sense will know what actually did happen, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get too political here, but <laughs> I am quite a political person. Of course, yeah. And um, the, the world is closing up, you know. It's mm. permits, it's visas, everything. You can't really do anything, you know. Mm. So this is, I did think of leaving Copanion, but then I thought, well, I'll just stay here. Yeah. I can't be bothered. You know, I mean, don't leave as us. long there's only the sunshine here, the sea, there's really good cheap food. Yeah. Um, there is some nightlife if you want to go out to that. Yeah. I'm not much of a one for pubs, bars. Sure. I don't really yeah, like yeah. them, you know. Mm -hmm. I was a barmaid before I became a singer. You Were know? you really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had 63 jobs. 63, 63 jobs. You can you can edit this bit out, and that was the legal ones. <laughs> yeah. Better, look, better call that one out. Naughty Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to be a bit naughty or you can yeah, survive. Yeah, of enough. course, yeah. Who's not naughty? Yeah. So, what do you spend your days doing on, on Copanyan? Well, I do some artwork, and I'm always trying to find the time to sit down and do it. Yeah. Um, I've just done, done some sign writing. Oh nice. For the furry, furry friends, yeah. people. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do I do with my day? Oh, Sorry, so that's sort of a things. Dr. Furry friend with... Um, oh yeah, with Jenny and Luca. Yeah. Mary is uh, very kind to animals. Yeah. We have many conversations about uh, the protests, yeah. but we won't go into that. <laughs> and I uh, did a lot of work for a pack. Yeah, excellent. And I was doing three different dog sitting jobs. Yeah. That was about, took up about 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. So. I'll get back down to pack quite soon Great, you know, yeah. and start again. Mm -hmm. So you see how it is down there. Mm -hmm. and, and will you play at the Jam? Because that's kind of the only live music venue you think anyone I used, to, I used to play at the Jam, but 
How can I be tactful about this? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> okay, well, we will let you know if Mary's <laughs> going to play. <laughs> we hope maybe at Panayist one night. What is that then? Here. Well, not here at the festival, but at the Panayis Hostel. Maybe you can play for us. Yeah. But until then... Have you got the equipment, microphones, yeah. sort of thing? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. We're just arranging it on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but until then, we will leave you with Mary performing one of her songs. So thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Get on with that, my God.